Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm going to be showing you guys inside my second grader and kindergartner's math baskets and hopefully you guys can get some good ideas. Okay, so before I get started, I'm Nicole. I'm a homeschooling mom to a seven, five and two year old and I make videos, post them about every week, reviews, um, day in the life, so things like that. If you wanna subscribe, I really appreciate it. Um, so let's jump in, I'll start with my second graders. Okay, so um, if you're new here, or if you just haven't watched any videos about math, um, we do use dimensions, um, we use Singapore. And, okay, firstly, I have the math books, obviously and um, a little calendar for them to cross off each day. I used to have a big manipulative box and I would pull that out occasionally with our math and it just had our, all our manipulatives and then I had their books on a different shelf in our kitchen. I rearranged our homeschool space. So then that's why I did the baskets and I do find that we use the manipulatives a lot more often since I have to set their basket down in front of them. They can pull it out if I don't, things like that. Okay, next up, um, this is a recommendation from the curriculum. It's these little like foam coins. So he just has tens, hundreds, and ones out right now. It does come with um, a lot of other like decimals and thousands, um, but these are all he's using at the moment. So these are what I have for him to grab. Um, and then we have, I always forget the name of these, 10, something no i don't know these so there's like blocks of 10 little ones um hundreds and then there's a thousands box but it's too big and he's not to thousands yet so um okay whiteboard this one we use every day um because he's working on adding and subtracting three digit numbers and so it's really easy and fun for him to use this um he actually told me how fun it was to use the whiteboard um so that's been great um, I have, they each have a ruler, um, a little clock. I've got a few dice. These are from the Good and the Beautiful Math, which I never used. I bought and thought I was going to use it. I have a whole video on it. I think it's like my most popular video. Um, and it just wasn't challenging enough. So I, for us. Okay. Anyway, a lot of you guys probably use it. It looks great and it looks very fun, but it wasn't for me. Um, but I liked the little dice that it came with. So I have these in here, left, right. I don't use, pull these out that often, at least for what he's doing right now, but I think there are a lot of fun games that you can do with these. Um, and then the last, oh wait, he has quite a few of these sort of dice, but I think I have them in our math. We still have a math shelf in here um, with backup manipulatives. Um, and then this is the last thing. So this is um, from Schiller Math, which is like a Montessori math, which I almost went with, switched to, but I didn't. Anyway, this is for adding. So it's got all of the different hundreds here, the different tens, and you put them together and then add them. I haven't started using this yet. Who knows if I will, but um, it just looks fun. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys my kindergartners. So the first thing I keep, it doesn't fit in there, so I keep it next to it. Um, is this hundred, I think it's called a skip counting board actually, but it goes up to a hundred, starts at one, um, from Jack and Link. And, um, this, I have two of them, but I keep the other one in my two year olds, um, like activity bin, which I have a whole video on as well. And she just puts like wool balls on and like moves along. Anyway, um, we were just using this one today for subtraction. So he was starting with one of his um, manipulatives in here I'll show you and jumping down um these are the what he was using these are a learning resource I think um bugs yeah they have a lot of different fun ones um I think probably by the time my daughter gets into math I'll get more um but they have always just been happy with one set um of course I have his books he's on uh, KB and he has the same calendar that he's crossing off. This is from uh, Liberty Lions Academy. I can't remember if I, I think it came with um, a set that was like these little pennants for their first day of school thing. Um, okay, he has more fun of things in here. A ruler. I have 
this hole and part and numbers and this comes with um, these pieces which are so you put the whole number on um, it's like slightly bigger so you put that there and then you put um, the part numbers on the bottom and then it has little like uh, wooden beads that you put in the little holes um, that was for when he started number bonds and I really wanted him to physically be doing the number bonds and I think it was really helpful. He picked it up super fast. Um, he also has one of those clocks and um, he's got linking cubes, which for the life of me, these things are so hard to pull apart and put together. I wish that they made it like slightly easier, but maybe we're doing it wrong. I don't know. He's got 10 frames and counters, but we are also use the bugs. Oh, I also like to use the bugs on these too. And other things that like you can put food on them. You can put little blueberries and then he's doing subtraction so he eats a few of them. Fun things like that. Um, these number cards which he has not used yet but I plan um because he's going to finish KB before the end of the year and I plan on doing Kate Snow's addition and subtraction and you have to use these with it. Um, he's got quite a few dice. He's got this big one, um, which my two-year-old likes to play with as well. And then just some little wooden dice, also from um, The Good and the Beautiful. It's like the same ones, I think, actually. And then he has also got a whiteboard and pen. All right, guys, so that was just a quick look inside our math boxes. Dice. Um... <laughs> And uh, we do keep these in the kitchen, like on uh, kind of in a hutch type of thing. And we pull it out, do it over breakfast, and just check it off the list. <laughs> it's my favorite way to do math, even though it's my favorite subject. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I have a couple other videos I'm filming today, so I will have a lot of fresh content on my channel. And um, I just posted our New Year's um, update as well. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.